do it this way, um, you won't have a problem. Um, <clears throat> once again, sorry, sorry for the, the cough there. My my throat is killing me. Um, star pound zero six pound. Okay. Show your number. Show your IMEI info. Um, of course, you don't need to see that. But that's the way to get your IMEI number, okay? Um, don't get it off the box, stuff like that. It can be wrong. You don't want that. Don't go that route. Do it like I just showed you. This is the site here. Sellunlocker.net. You go here, basically enter what brand you have. You know, Samsung, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's gonna take you to, um, you put in your model number. Of course, it's the Gear S. What network it's currently locked to. Scroll all the way down. And you've got USA, AT&T, you'd select that. And then, of course, you put in your IMEI number. Look for the code. If you put the IMEI number right, um, you get a, a green light saying it's a go. Then you can order it, and they'll tell you how much the code is. Um, they're pretty, uh, pretty reasonable for price, considering um, how fast the unlocks are. If you're trying to unlock something, you can't just go to AT&T or Verizon and say, "Hey, I want to unlock this," and expect to get your code. Um, it doesn't. It just doesn't always work like that. So. These people will do it pretty quick and, uh, you know, at a very, very respectable price. So, um, I've used them quite a few times. Anyways, so you got the process there. Sellonlocker.net. Um, they'll email you a code. It looks something like this. Phone information, you know, tells you what uh, you requested to unlock. I scribbled it out and blew that network code. That is going to be the code that we're going to enter for the unlock code. Pop that T-Mobile SIM back in, and that's the one that's going to give us that nice little message. Hey. All, right, all, right, all, right. all right, as you can see, network lock. All right, so my code was nine uh, seven. Oh, yep, seven zero. Seven, nine, two, five, seven. All right. Should I hit OK. Code accepted. Bam. All right. So we now, and uh, basically the SIM card doesn't have service, but it's showing bars, but I don't have an active number. But if basically if you have service, um, you know you you're gonna be able to make calls on it. You you now have a you know a T-Mobile watch, um, <laughs> or you can use it on a T-Mobile network. Um, if I show you something here, if you go to this certain area, you can change your APN. Um, and I'm trying to find it here. There we go. I think this is it. Yeah, access point your APN number. See, you see how it says T-Mobile. Before you wouldn't get that. You couldn't change them. You couldn't edit them. You couldn't do anything. So now you can. Um, it allows you to do that. So you now have a uh, you know be able to use it on T-Mobile. So um, sellonlocker.net. Um, do that, and uh, you will have a Gear S that is good to go on T-Mobile or any other DSM carrier that uh, will work out with these bands. You guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care.